Blake. This is Myron. Myron, how you doing? I'm Blake. We called in Myron, a 30-year veteran at authenticating signatures, to see whether this Beatles album actually has all four band members' signatures. Tell me, wh what do you think about the signature? Well, this record is not really valuable without the signatures. It, albums were made in the millions, so... It's the signatures. It's the signatures that make it valuable. Anything related to the Beatles, it was a lot of money. And if this piece really signed by them, it'd be great for the Dina collection. What, what do you think about the signature? You think it's real? I can look at this George Harrison and the one that's authentic there. George always had that H coming out of the always. G, always. And there's Ringo's, which is good. Ringo is the only one that really almost always signed exactly the same. Yeah, because he you charged for it. <laughs> it better be good, right? <laughs> there's Paul's. Paul signed either directly across or up and down. Next is John. He had three distinctly different signatures. Really? When he started signing back in the early 60s, it was a regular J. By 72, he signed like a backward C. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn them upside down, which is strange to some people. What does that do? Well, upside down, it can pick up starts and stops that your eye doesn't see. So if somebody was tracing this or forging this, that would be noticeable. Yeah, if they're copying it, they'll stop, start, stop, start, and you won't see that this way. You're right, because I used to forge my mom's signature to get out of school all the time in high school. And, and I used to copying. start and stop. And you're so smart today, this why, because you missed so many classes. I got straight A's, so.